when other governments don't appreciate this difference, I think they need to be reminded. Sometimes effectively. Many countries are very casual about it. They have a, a different view about their own security and a different view about other people's security. But I can tell you, you know, as foreign minister, we are, we are, not, we are not going to accept these kinds of uh, uh, differential standards. Nobody argues with the fact that there should be freedom of speech, that there should be civil liberties. But these should not be misused to, you know, espouse uh, uh, radicalism, violence, terrorism. So there is a difference between having rights and misusing rights. I find difficult is, oh, they have nuclear weapons, so as though we are supposed to do something about it. Well, they should have, you know, they had nuclear weapons when they did all of this. That day, when those, uh, you know, uh, uh, those, uh, I would say, what, vandals uh, 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 appeared before the High Commission, uh, the, you know, what was our expectation was not there in terms of uh, security for the High Commission. Many countries are very casual about it. They have a, a different view about their own security and a different view about other people's security. But I can tell you, you know, as foreign minister, we are, we are, not, we are not going to accept these kinds of uh, uh, differential standards. Whenever any country sends an embassy anywhere abroad, it is the obligation of the receiving country to provide the security for a diplomat to do their work. It is the obligation of the receiving country to ensure that the embassy or the high commission or the consulate, their premises are respected, okay? These obligations were not met. Nobody argues with the fact that there should be freedom of speech, that there should be civil liberties. But these should not be misused to, you know, espouse uh, uh, radicalism, violence, terrorism. So there is a difference between having rights and misusing rights. What is happening today in Pakistan is something which was widely foreseen. The economics was foreseen, the, the terrorism problem was foreseen, uh, all the other challenges, because these are things that they have done to themselves. The rest of the world kept warning them.
if a country has a leadership, has a, uh, institutions which are so short-sighted, who play with fire, who actually have created uh, for themselves these Frankenstein monsters, then honestly they have nobody but themselves to thank for it. What I find difficult is, oh, they have nuclear weapons, so as though we are supposed to do something about it. Well, they should have, you know, they had nuclear weapons when they did all of this. <laughs>